Hey ArtTube, today I'm going to spend an hour working on a watercolor study of the Wyoming Lake. I will show you my entire setup. Unfortunately, I'm going to have a little trouble with one of my brushes and even have a special offer at the end. So join me, won't you? Here's the study we're going to be doing today. Here's my setup. Uh, my laptop. Here's the Arches paper along with some of my waters. And uh, this is Arches 140 pound cold press. Beautiful tooth on it. This is my mechanical pencil and the jelly roll that I'll use to add white. And here is my uh, watercolor palette. If you want, you can stop it and take a look. Uh, these are the brushes that I'll be using. Nothing too special or too expensive. I'll leave the links in the description below, of course. And, uh, you know, this brush, I really like this brush, but lately it's been giving me some, some trouble. And uh, I'll kind of show you what I mean. The brush itself works great. The problem is that it, uh, it makes a funny sound when I use it. So, um... You guys can hear that, right? It's not just me, right? So, anyways, I think uh, I think I'll probably have to take that one into the shop and and uh, and get it adjusted. You know, I was working on this painting and, and then I started thinking about this brush again. I got this brush on sale on eBay. And uh, you know, I'm thinking it's possible that they didn't use squirrel hair in this brush. Uh, maybe, they, uh, maybe they wanted to save some money and use some donkey hair. I've heard that uh, sometimes sellers will do that. So anyways, just a thought.
here we are. It's all done. Uh, I really had a good time doing this, and uh, I, I hope you enjoyed watching, too. This is how I would present it to collectors and to my different art shows that I might go to. I frame it with a really inexpensive frame. These will go on my little gems wall that are inexpensive studies. For people who don't have a lot of money to spend, or maybe are just looking to start their collection and want to start small. Let me show you what it looks like on the back of the frame. It's um, really inexpensive. <laughs> Apparently, I, uh, I put the frame on upside down. So anyways, hey, give me a break. I'm not a framer. <laughs> I promise I'll do better next time. And uh, my new brushes work great. I'm really happy with them. And I'll be using them again. Unfortunately, it's not good news on my, my malfunctioning watercolor brush. I uh, just got off the phone with watercolor brush uh, tech support hotline. And they told me that since I didn't buy it from them, that they couldn't help me. So I guess officially this brush is for sale. If anyone out there wants it, you know, I'll sell it to you nice and cheap. Yeah, it's a, it's a great brush. Uh, I mean, hey, 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 does anybody know how to turn this thing off? If anybody knows how to fix this, just, just, just leave a comment below. If you're interested in it, just send me an email. It's cheap. It's really cheap. I mean, you know, make me an offer. It, you know, I might even be willing to, you know, give it away if you're interested.